What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to the quick tips series. In this series we take different topics from Farming Simulator and condense them down to short videos to quickly but thoroughly explain each. Today, sugarcane. Things that you're going to need to get the job done. You'll need a cultivator or disc harrow. You will need one of three of the sugarcane planters. This is the single row. This is the single row driveless and the two row billet planter. You will need a tractor to pull everything with and you will need a sugarcane harvester. There are two to choose from. You have the lizard brand and the self-propelled case version. You will also need a trailer to transport the sugarcane to and from point A and point B. Now, any trailer will work with a couple exceptions. No auger wagons and no gravity bends. So that's the Load King and the Wilson. Those will not work. First thing you're going to want to do is cultivate. Make sure you get the ground prepared and ready to go. If you've had any of the root crops or if you have had corn in here beforehand, also make sure that you go in and you plow before you do this as well. Make sure you go look in your settings on your map. Anything that it tells you needs to be done, you need to do that before you cultivate. But make sure you cultivate after all of that is done. Step two is going to be to plant and fertilize. Now, the great thing about sugarcane is you can fill it up with either sugarcane pallets, which we have right here. You can see it's going down. I believe the pallets are 2,000 liters each, so you're going to save yourself some money if you use those. You can also use seeds and it fills up exactly the same way. Now it will look like there's sugar cane in the back regardless of what you put there. But keep in mind, you can use seeds or sugar cane. And you need solid fertilizer, at least for this model right here. Now we need to go put this in the ground. Now you can use workers for these or you can do it manually. So what you want to do is you want to unfold the sower. You want to lower the sower and turn it on. Now it is ready to go. It will take a second to get off the line, but as soon as you get off the line and start moving, you are good to go. Now the version we are using is a two row planter, but you can get single rows if you would like. It is super late 1940 at night, and we have just now hit our first growth stage taken that long pretty much all day so what we've got to do now is we got to go through and get fertilizer on these crops oh yeah on the sugar cane do it <laughs> this is going to give us our full uh, fertilization state now all we have to do is wait until it's fully grown there are two ways to harvest sugar cane first way is with the lizard version uh, so we have two versions. Again, we have the lizard version right here. This is a single row harvester and we have a lizard tipper on the back. So what we're going to do is we are going to get it. We're going to lower it down and turn it on. Now this will cut the tops and it will drop the remaining sugar cane in the back, which is pretty awesome. Now. I kind of stink at driving this, so I am going to hire a worker, which you can do. Do not be afraid to hire a worker. You can do that, and it will fill up in the back. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's filling up at the back. It looks like it's flying behind the trailer, but do not worry. It is going in the trailer. Do not fret. And you'll see that we've got all this stuff on the ground. The great thing about sugarcane is you only have to plant every three harvests. This will grow back. Now, if you do not have periodic plowing turned on, you don't have to worry. You could plant this one time and never have to replant again. Along with the lizard, we also have a case version as well. This is a self-propelled. So what we're gonna do is we're going to unfold. We're going to lower. We're gonna get right up close. Now, you could do this on your own and it'll cut all day. Unfortunately, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> what you want to do is hire a worker and then you, unless you have a buddy, you will need to find a tractor with trailers. Now, because we've got sugarcane trailers on the back of this, we will be able to dump later on. 
and this will search for the trailer, find it, and then we can hire our worker. Oh, come on, go, 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 get in it. There we go. You <laughs> set your worker and just go. Which is pretty cool. I really like the fact that we can just do this. We can bring our own trailers up here and do it to it. Now, there are multiple trailers, again, like I said, that you can use to make this happen. Any trailer will work, except for auger wagons and the gravity bins. So pick your favorite trailer that you like and go for it. Now, we'll tell you this, you cannot store sugarcane in the silos. So pick a trailer that's easy to use. There's a reason that we have this trailer right here. Once your sugarcane trailers are full, you want to get you a couple of these. These are sugarcane semi-trucks. Very cool, very awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to raise these trailers. That's right. These trailers will raise. We've got it here. And then we just dump over. And it goes into the semi-trailer. We're going to do the exact same thing to the other one. I don't think we're going to have any spillage all the way up and dump over these all should go into the same one and they are you can dump these pretty pretty heavily too there we go if there's a trailer next to it or by it it will pick up on it so do keep that in mind uh you can dump these on the ground but you have to force dump them on the ground so that is a thing <laughs> another thing you can drive around with these all the way in the air i think it's hilarious uh, another cool thing is you can hook as many of these as you want to it so you can hook up I'm an infinite amount as many as you would like when it is time to sell you are going to want to come to the best price possible for us today we are heading to the sugar mill these trailers work exactly the way the other tipper trailers did work however do keep in mind that you can't just simply click and unload you will have to unload these by yourself on your own and they do take a little while one cool thing about these trailers, I want to show you before we take off, is you're going to find these in sugarcane. Now, these trailers don't just do sugarcane. They will do wood chips. They will do chaff. They will do grass, hay, straw, and silage. They will do all of those things. So if you are running a cow farm with sugarcane and you need chaff and you need something that'll take this, well, there you go. These trailers are going to be absolutely perfect, and I could not recommend them more. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you already, please subscribe. If you found something useful, helpful, informative, anything like that in this video, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. Drop a hashtag GoHamFam if you guys are having a great day today. Hope you have a good one, and we will see you later. Peace.